Good evening, everyone. Welcome to this episode of Market Pulse. My name is Ajit Maholi, the founder and mentor at LearnPriceActionTrading.com. Uh, let's take a look at what Nifty has been doing and what it is likely to do this week. Let's begin our analysis with the monthly chart. So as you see, a bullish, uh, the bullish trend continues. Last month, we made a new high and <clears throat> gave up most of the gains. But this month, again, we are trying to uh, re-attack the all-time highs. This is the next demand zone on the monthly chart, uh, which is the best one to uh, buy good quality stocks for long term, uh, because we are very much overextended. If you see uh, after the COVID fall, we haven't really corrected as such. So there is there is a likelihood that markets could remain still range bound between 17,000 and 18,500 before the next leg happens. But as of now, it's a uh, uh, completely uh, bullish on the monthly chart and that's the next area of demand zone. Coming back to the weekly chart, uh, on the weekly chart, we really don't have any supply zone. Uh, uh, these were all pivots, so two weeks of continuous selling, and this is the third week that we are trying to make an attempt. The momentum seems to be lacking here, and on smaller time frames, we'll have some key supply zones. Uh, uh, if we don't break those key supply zones, we might uh, start heading lower. Uh, up to at least this point. So that's the demand zone on the weekly chart, uh, 17,571 to 17,220. And on a weekly basis, if we close 17,220, uh, we could see further acceleration probably towards uh, an area of 16,700, which will be the next best area for us to uh, get into swing trading. But uh, it uh, looks like it's still going to remain range bound between the all time high and this demand zone on the weekly chart starting at around 17,600. Coming back to the daily chart. On the daily chart, that's the range that we have uh, for Nifty. For the next few days that's a daily supply zone we have uh, we tested it once but could not make a new low started moving up and are going uh, higher uh, it does look like uh, there could be some more up move uh, that we can expect um, uh, if i when i go to the 75 minute chart i'll show the real levels uh, between which it is range bound and on the daily chart this is the area of demand zone so that's a range on the uh, daily chart for nifty for the next few days we do have another area of supply zone um, so that's why it looks more like a consolidation market wherein it could remain a uh, range bound between these uh, key areas and on the 75 minute chart if you see let me just remove everything here i'll show you the range separately on the 75 minute chart this is the range that will be trading on so that's a nifty range on the 75 minute chart so this is a range around 18,450 to 17,700 uh, nifty could remain range bound we are moving up slowly so there could be some more up move possible uh, probably it might uh, retrace back to this area of demand zone and from here again the next uh, target uh, if the trend uh, on the shorter time frame remains bullish this will be your target so that's the immediate range possibly for tomorrow and that's uh, uh, the broader range around 18,500 to um, 17,700 so bullish outlook uh, uh, short term bullish outlook but again range bound uh, swing trading is going to be a little bit difficult it's going to be a stock specific market uh, so as soon as we get here maybe you will get some good short opportunities and here you may get good short term income long opportunities so that's what we have for nifty good evening everyone welcome to this episode of market pulse uh, my name is ajit mauli the founder and mentor at learnpriceactiontrading.com uh, let's take a look at what bank nifty has been doing and is likely to do for the week ending 21st november 2021 uh, let's begin with the monthly chart. Again, bullish trend, but uh, a lot of projections uh, as we can see on the monthly chart. Uh, prices hit a new high close to 42K and started selling off. Uh, Bank Nifty is a tad weaker as compared to Nifty. Uh, the, and uh, there is no supply zone on the monthly chart as such. The next best demand zone for us to be buyers is this on the monthly chart. That's... Uh, 36,000 approximately, though we do have some areas of demand in this uh, 
uh, area here. Uh, so on the weekly and daily, we could find some good areas of demand here. But on a broader level, these are the areas which might uh, hold Bank Nifty and keep it probably range bound between 42,000 and 37,500. Going back to the weekly, now weekly is showing a little bit of um, uh, a bearish picture in the sense uh, we are seeing this uh, sell off that happened uh, a few weeks back and it continued. We are making lower lows. So the next area of demand zone for Bank Nifty on the weekly chart is all the way in this area. So I would say uh, around 38,000. So 38,000 uh, will be at the range. And this is where we could probably have supply zones on the smaller time frame. Uh, though it's not a key supply zone, but on smaller time frame, that could keep Bank Nifty uh, range bound between about 40, 39,500 to uh, 39,800 and 38,000. That could be the range it could oscillate before it starts taking a, a new trend. Um, but still, it's uh, overall uh, bullish. Uh, we'll wait for pullbacks to these areas to get into some good quality stocks uh, uh, in Bank Nifty for going long. The daily now shows much more clearer picture. If you see after this big fall, uh, we broke all the areas of demand here. Though we do not have uh, uh, big moves down, they are moves with gap and every move up is now being sold. So today also Bank Nifty opened up and gave a new high, uh, a, a high <clears throat> which was greater than the last two days high. Uh, probably close to this EMA and we have started to move down. So that's the area where it is likely to head if the bearish pressure remains. So that's a range on the daily chart. If I have to give this range. So this is uh, the supply zone and that's the area of demand zone. So this will be the range for Bank Nifty uh, as of now. Uh, long position should be only short term income or I would say intraday. Uh, uh, wait for bigger pullbacks to these areas of demand to go long. And if we get here uh, somewhere at around 39,500, it could be a good area for some short term income shorts. The range on 75 minute charts for Bank Nifty is this. So as of now, we are holding these areas of supply zone. That's the supply zone on the 75 minute chart and that's the demand zone on the 75 minute chart. So this is the short term income range for Bank Nifty around 39,750 to 38,150. And we have uh, another supply coming in here on Bank Nifty. So range bound movement again on Bank Nifty with a, uh, a slightly uh, bearish bias, but now we are very low on the curve. So let it pull back to these areas for new shorts. Or once we get some confirmation, you can look for aggressive longs up to at least 39,200 to 39,400. So this is the uh, range for Bank Nifty on the uh, on the intraday time frame, the short term time frame. So uh, overall, uh, markets bullish, but uh, a corrective mode is on. So be careful about getting into unnecessary long positions, which could be a little early compared to what you would get. Uh, so be patient and uh, look to trade just the ranges for now. Please go through this disclaimer. Uh, 